Hey everyone. Today I'd like to talk about setting up custom toolbars. Why? Well, with Reaper you can set up toolbars for just about any function. You can create buttons that can do anything from insert an effects chain onto your track, or perform a complicated custom action, all with the click of a single button. It takes a few minutes to set up at first, but in the end, this method can really save you some time. So by default, Reaper has your main toolbar on the left-hand side. Now, I don't usually use it, so I've set up a custom toolbar specifically for audiobook work. It has some of my most used functions like normalize, room tone, I can do a dynamic split, I can even click and open up my item in RX with a single click. Okay, so how do we set this up? From the main toolbar, I'm going to right click, go to switch toolbar, and pick one that has a number next to it, which means it hasn't been used before. And you'll see a button that says edit me. Let's click on that button, and it'll open up the customized menu toolbar window. Now, let's give it a name. How about audiobook toolbar? Click OK, and now you'll see that it's been named Audiobook Toolbar. That's great. Now what do we do? Well, let's say we want to add an effect to our track that we use on a normal basis, like uh, Reacomp or Reac. So what we need to do for that is we need to open up the Effects Browser. So let's click View, Effects Browser, which you can also do Shift F. Now we have a list of all of our effects, all of our manufacturers, everything we have. We even have our effects chains. Let's go to Kakos. Let's go to Reacomp. Now right click, go to Create Shortcut. Now this is just like with a custom action, except you don't actually have to type in anything. You don't have to create a shortcut, just close out of the window and you can close out of the effects browser. Now, back to the customize menus window. Nothing's happened. That's fine, because we haven't done anything yet. Let's click the add button. And this opens up your custom actions list. Now let's search for Reacomp. And right here you see, insert Reacomp. Let's click Select and Close. And now, Reacomp is listed right here. And it, you see here it's going to be a button on your new toolbar. That's pretty cool. But it doesn't really say anything because it's trying to insert this entire text. Let's edit that down. Right click, go to Text Icon, and just type in Reacomp. Click double with toolbar button, click OK. Now you see Reacomp is right there. We can remove the Edit Me button. Now to get this to show up on your actual toolbar, click the Save button, and now we see it right here. Let's try it out. Let's click our track, click Reacomp, and it's inserted it onto our track. That's pretty great. This can also work for FX chains and for custom actions. Let me show you. Let's say I wanted to add a button for my room tone track. This is that room tone action that I made before in the other video. Let's change the text so it just says room tone. Okay, and here we have the button for room tone. Let's try it out. Let's listen to the track. Today, let's talk about custom toolbars. Okay, and let's do some splits. And let's see if we can insert that room tone. Today, let's talk about custom 
toolbars. All right. Now you can go ahead and do this with whatever you want. You can add other actions. You can add entire effects chains if you'd like. It's just another way of trying to cut down some time for you. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.